Legends tag team action here at Cage Collision as the Necro Butcher teaming up with Jerry Lynn to take on the tandem of the monstrous Brody Lee and the mass delirious, accompanied to ringside by Jimmy Jacobs, the leader of the Age of the Fall. And this is just going to be a fight, Lenny Leonard. Forget about professional wrestling holds. You usually say that for any Necro Butcher match. But Brody Lee, he is a man much like the Necro Butcher. Brody Lee making his Ring of Honor pay-per-view debut here tonight at the side of the mass delirious as part of the Age of the Fall. Delirious taste in the steam courtesy of Jerry Lynn. A man who certainly has his sights set on Nigel McGuinness and the world title, but today standing by the side of the Necro Butcher to do battle against Delirious and Brody Lee. Hey, everyone has their sights set on Nigel McGuinness and the world title, but it's staying right around his waist. Right now it is Delirious working over Jerry Lynn inside the squared circle while the Necro Butcher and Brody Lee continue to battle out on the floor. Break in the face by Delirious and Jerry Lynn having trouble seeing as the Necro Butcher back up on the apron as this looks to be settling down into some semblance of an actual tag team matchup. Head scissors by Jerry Lynn takes Delirious off his feet. And Jimmy Jacobs very upset on the outside as Jerry Lynn up on the shoulders of Delirious. Drop down across the chest. Sends on, but Jerry Lynn able to roll out of the way and avoid Delirious as he came crashing down on the canvas. And Lynn asking the people if they want to see Necro, and of course they do. It's a stop to that boot by Delirious. He's got that big right hand cocked. He's got to open up that fist. There are rules in this matchup. Monkey flip by the Necro Butcher. You said there'd be no wrestling moves. Look at the Necro Butcher. He's quick as a cat, Dave. Delirious is no monkey, and he is not a cat either. Delirious is a lizard. And Brody Lee, I told you he's a brawler just like Necro, and you will notice Brody Lee actually has a size advantage on the Necro Butcher. Now what I notice is the Necro Butcher refusing to break the abdominal stretch despite being smacked in the mouth twice by Brody Lee. Oh, now it's Brody versus Necro face to face here in Chicago. And now the two big men are duking it out. Exchanging chops now. And both men staying on their feet, a headbutt from Necro. No secret who the fans are in favor of in this battle. Chanting for Necro, but look at Brody Lee just weather those headbutts and then chuck Necro all the way back to the other corner. Such an intimidating force is Brody Lee. Jimmy Jacobs sees big things in him. Ooh! And Brody Lee is seeing stars trying to cover up. Necro peppering with lefts and rights. It's just like a ballroom brawl here between Brody Lee and the Necro Butcher. Drop to hold by the Necro Butcher. Except no drop to holds in a bar fight. Cover by Jerry Lynn, and look at the power of Brody Lee. Jimmy Jacobs brought Brody Lee into the fold of the age of the fall. He did his scouting and found this man to counter the Necro Butcher, and now he's going to work on Jerry Lynn as well. Great agility by Jerry Lynn with the Hurricane Rana. Takes Lee off his feet and Lee looks pissed. Oh, he's right back up. He was taken off his feet and doesn't know what to make of Jerry Lynn. Now it's a chasing game. Lynn making Brody Lee follow him in and out. And I think I see where Jerry Lynn was going with this, trying to tire the big man out. Jerry Lynn obviously in very good cardiovascular condition. The fans, as always, on the side of Jerry Lynn, boot to the midsection. Yeah, he's not going to be able to Irish whip the big man, though. Oh, Jacobs from the outside, grab hold of the foot, and the distraction does the trick. That's all it took, strength in numbers, having Jimmy Jacobs at ringside to guide the age of the fall and lend a helping hand here and there. Yeah, literally. Nice. Late vertical suplex by Brody Lee. Drove him down to the canvas with great force right there. A tag made to Delirious as the Age of the Fall looking to cut the ring in half here. And the Necro Butcher trying to put a stop to any shenanigans by Brody Lee. Well, the Necro Butcher was not legally tagged into the matchup, and the referee is forcing him out to the apron. And speaking of the apron, Jimmy Jacobs up on there shouting instructions at Delirious again, but caused Delirious to turn his attention for the moment away from Jerry Lynn. Got caught with a couple of shots to the midsection, but a hard blow across the back. Took the momentum right back away from Jerry Lynn, and another tag to Brody Lee. 
Well, you know, I've noticed over the course of the past several months that Delirious needs that advice, the suggestions of Jimmy Jacobs to keep him on the right path. As Delirious again trying to cut to the aid of Terry Lynn, who was able to avoid Brody Lee for the moment, but not the big boot. He just leveled Jerry Lynn with that boot. And Brody Lee a little bit smarter than Necro. Cover right here. Ah, oh, he gets the shoulder up. Smarter than Necro because Brody actually has boots on for a big boot. Necro is still barefoot. Got a hold of the face of Jerry Lynn. Gets a warning from the official. And again, staring down Necro, who is dying to get a piece of big Brody Lee here. Yeah, well, Jerry Lynn needs to make a tag in order for the Necro Butcher to legally be a part of this matchup once again. And until that happens, it's the age of the fall just taking turns, dishing out the punishment to washed up Jerry Lynn. Oh, now it's Delirious with a shot to the Necro Butcher again, causing the distraction, allowing Brody Lee to do the job in the corner, knee to the back. A variation of the paddock attack right there. Cover. But only two. And Jacob shouting at the official on a faster count. Camel clutch now applied by Delirious. We can see Jerry Lynn give it up right here. Again, this crowd here in Chicago urging Jerry Lynn on. He desperately needs to make the tag to the Necro Butcher. Face first to the big boot of Brody Lee and a tag by Delirious. Seeing frequent tags out of the age of the fall. The big man back inside the ring. And going to work on Lynn. European uppercut by Lee. And you'd have to give the edge and the teamwork, obviously, to the age of the fall there. Remember, they're the same faction underneath Jimmy Jacobs. And this is the first time, to my knowledge, that Jerry Lynn and the Necro Butcher have ever teamed together. And once again, Necro wants to be a part of this matchup and get inside that ring once again, but he has to wait on the apron. Fresh whip, and Lee comes charging, but Lynn gets the boot up. Up to the second turnbuckle, cross body, but look at the strength of Brody Lee. But Jerry Lynn able to land on his feet and gets driven into the turnbuckles. I think we're gonna see another big running boot from Brody Lee. Nobody home. Ooh, all the way over the top and to the floor he goes. And this is the opportunity Lynn's been waiting for to make the tag. Delirious needs to prevent Jerry Lynn from making it to his corner and tagging the Necro Butcher. Well, that's precisely what he's doing here. Elbows from Jerry Lynn, and he makes the tag, but Necro Butcher pulled off the apron by Brody Lee. Too little, too late, and the referee had his back turned as well, so even if Necro was still up on the apron, able to make that tag, the referee's got to see it as well. Some great work right here from the age of the fall, both keeping the referee in proper position and also making sure that Jerry Lynn and the Necro Butcher cannot make it to one another. On the right hand from Lee as he got Lynn in the corner one more time and all of that weight, 300 pounds across the back of the neck of Jerry Lynn who's sucking wind in the corner. I think the years are catching up to Jerry Lynn, Lenny Leonard. I don't know if it's so much the years, but 300 pounds of Brody Lee across your neck catching up to you. Talking about how Jerry Lynn still got it, about how uh, it's a resurgence in his wrestling career here in Ring of Honor. I don't see it, man. All I see is the age of the fall picking him apart right here in this tag team matchup. Larry is dragging him back to his feet one more time. Elevates him, belly to back suplex, nicely done by Delirious. You want to talk about Jerry Lynn coming after the world title. Covered by Delirious, gets himself a two count. As Necro again had thoughts of breaking up the attempt, but break of the back by Delirious. Break of the front by Delirious. Break of the back by Delirious. Looking for the backslide. Can he get it? Trying to get the leverage necessary. Jerry still with some fight in him. Trying to stop Delirious' attempt here. He will stay back on his feet. DDT. But can he make the tag? Delirious needs to get to his corner and tag Brody Lee. That's what he's got to do. And he's got to do it before Jerry Lynn can realize where he's at and get over to Necro. Delirious does make the tag. Jerry Lynn trying to crawl towards his corner, but Lee has him by the foot. Lynn escapes and makes the tag to Necro. Big right hand from Necro. Off the ropes. Who's boot to the face? A foot to the face. He's not.
not smart enough to wear wrestling boots. Scoop and a slam. Lee back to his feet in the corner. Knife edge chop. And a series of strikes from the Necro Butcher. Just wearing out Brody Lee in the corner. The ref needs to get in there. He was in the corner, man. Bulldog by Necro. But again, Lee back to his feet. Oh, Lee is tough. He can take a lot of punishment just as well as he can dish it out. And he is certainly absorbing an awful lot of punishment in the corner again from Necro. Strikes by Necro in the corner. He's going up to the top. What's he doing? Necro Kanarana! I can't believe what I just saw. And a tag to Jerry Lynn. Somebody who's more accustomed to coming off the top. High cross body. Brody Lee lifts Jerry Lynn in the center of the ring. No! Oh, I thought that was it right there. And again, Delirious dragging Necro off the apron, unable to cover the aid of Jerry Lynn. It's the age of the fall working well as a unit. And now it's Delirious to the top rope. Double team strategy coming up. Huge foot to the face by Necro. Big right hand catches Delirious coming off the top. Looked like Delirious was about to hit shadows over hell, but Necro stops him cold with the right hand. Jerry Lynn looks out of it inside the ring. Necro and Brody Lee doing battle on the outside. Referee has completely lost control of this one. Brody Lee laid out across the table. Necro's up on the apron. Leg drop through the table. Keep your eye on Delirious. He's to the top rope. And, oh, he went for shadows over hell, but Lynn moved. Right back to his feet. He's got him up. Cleo power driver, that's it. Hooks the leg. 